The Growth Lab PPP Loan and Forgiveness Calculator has been created to help guide you step-by-step -step through the loan forgiveness application process. To start, begin filling in your loan's basic information. Cells in white will auto-populate throughout the calculator, whereas cells in gray will need to be filled in with borrower-specific information. Cells with a purple box in the corner include comments to help you throughout. Complete the tabs of the calculator from left to right. Once your basic information has been filled in, you will proceed to the Wage Schedule and Calc tab. This is where you will record payroll data for the covered period of the loan. The calculator will then determine what portion of the loan forgiveness, if any, is reducible due to employee wage decreases. If wage levels decreased from pre-COVID levels but are restored by December 31st, 2020, you will receive safe harbor and your forgiveness will not be reduced. The calculator also provides space to enter in the hours worked by each employee. This will determine the employee full-time equivalency levels during the covered period. If employees' hours were reduced from pre-COVID amounts or employees were let go, your total loan forgiveness may be reduced. The SBA has, however, provided additional safe harbors from this reduction. If you were able to return FTE levels to pre-COVID amounts before December 31st, 2020, you will qualify for safe harbor. Additionally, if your business operations were reduced during the covered period due to health and safety regulations implemented in light of COVID-19, you will not be penalized for decreased FTE levels. You will then enter your non-cash payroll compensation and non-payroll expense amounts. Your forgiveness amount will be reduced if these costs constitute more than 40% of your total loan amount. The PPP Schedule A Worksheet, PPP Schedule A, and the Loan Forgiveness Form tabs are set up to match the formatting of SBA Form 3508 or the SBA's official PPP Forgiveness application. Once the first three tabs of the calculator have been completed, most of the information needed to determine your forgiveness amount will auto-populate. You will then be able to easily grab the data from your calculator and enter it into the corresponding line on the SBA form.